I'm Jasmine with Her Hip Hop, bringing you her weekly wrap up, giving you everything you need to know and what you missed. In news, Fortune's 40 Under 40 list gets released. That's right, the annual list that ranks the most influential people in business lists the likes of Kevin Hart, Mark Zuckerberg, Serena Williams, and Chance the Rapper makes history as the youngest person to ever grace the list. Speaking of Kevin Hart, his wife, Anika Hart, came for his ex-wife, Tori Hart, over the weekend in comments to a fan that were completely unprovoked. Anika claims that she was far from a mistress after saying the couple had been together for eight years. Fans quickly pointed out Kevin hasn't even been divorced from Tori for six years, and Tori clapped back in the name of her kids, saying, The dates do not lie. We hope this blended family can work it out. Hip-hop's favorite couple, Jay-Z and Beyonce, reportedly closed on a $90 million mansion in Bel Air. The 30,000 square foot estate features four swimming pools, a spa, a fitness center, and plenty of space for the new bundles of joy. In music, Jay-Z is addressing his strained relationship with Kanye West. In an exclusive interview with Rat Radar, he says Kanye crossed the line when he brought Beyonce and Jay's kids into their spat. He also talks relationship with Salaj, support for LeVar Bell, and much more streaming now on Tidal. Cardi B's Bodak Yellow jumped to number three on the Billboard Hot 100 charts. The rapper copped herself a new Bentley to celebrate her new success, while DJ Khaled's Wild Thoughts featuring Rihanna and Bryson Tiller maintains his spot at number two. The saying goes, all good things must come to an end, and Drake having a song on Billboard's Hot 100 charts every week since 2009 has came to an end, but not after having a 430-week charting streak, eight years straight since his single, Best I Ever Had. And Nicki Minaj and Yo Gotti's Rack It Up video is finally released. Up? Young money. In movies, Kevin Hart and Girls Trip actor Tiffany Haddish to team up in new film Night School. The comedy is set to be released by Universal Pictures in September 2018. Marlon Wayne's new movie Naked hits Netflix. The movie also starring Regina Hall is a comedy where Marlon must relive the same hours back to back until he can get to his wedding date without any hiccups. In TV shows, things are heating up on power, but the breach in the media room showing the final episodes that popped up on Facebook Live is still a big problem. And Stars is reportedly doing a full investigation and seeking legal action for all parties involved. Insecure is coming back for a third season. Shonda Rhimes, the woman behind some of your favorite TV shows, including Scandal, Grey's Anatomy, and How to Get Away with Murder, is taking her talents to Netflix with a new multi-year mega deal. She will continue to work on the shows that we love, but wants to grow as an artist after 12 years at ABC. In sports, ESPN came under fire after a slave-like fantasy football auction. The audience featured a group of mostly white men bidding on mostly black athletes and left a bad taste in people's mouth. ESPN has since apologized and maintained this is a common practice in the fantasy football world. In other news, as black athletes continue to use their platform to fight injustice and race relations in America, this week, Philadelphia Eagles player Chris Long, who is white, showed his support for the cause by putting his arm around fellow teammate Malcolm Jenkins, who is black, and had his fist raised in solidarity during the national anthem. And in her engagement, former Destiny's Child member Latoya Luckett got engaged over the weekend. The singer slash actress met her fiance through a mutual friend and hit it off. Congrats to the happy couple. All right, that's a wrap. Now that you're up to date, log on to HerHipHopLA.com for more.